What's going on, YouTubers? It's the Natural Born Thriller, and welcome everyone to All Elite Wrestling Review. The show from March 24th, 2020. And this will be your AEW Dark Results that took place in Jacksonville, Florida, in front of an empty arena. <laughs> Just saying. Um, your, com your commentators were Excalibur and Taz, your host of the show. Well, actually, there was no host of the show between the two having Tony Schiavone and Dashing Gonzalez because this, at this point, there was no no need for a host. But when it pertains to this this edition of AEW Dark, we have a lot of matches happening on this show here, and let's get let's just get right to it. The opening match was Jake Hager being accompanied by Sammy Guevara versus Joe Alonso. Alonso, uh, I think I don't know how you say his, his last name, but I'm assuming that's how you say it. Um, but match itself, it was a showcase for Jake Hager to get a win, and then that's exactly what it was. I don't think this is gonna be a long review, probably, folks. We're tasting to on community AEW Dark um, results for this review. So, uh, but anyways, let's move on. Just um, you know about that. It's it's just gonna be a short one. We had the Natural Nightmares, and that's Dustin Rose and QT Marshall. That's the tag team they're going with. They are tag team, you know, they are tag team now, and there you go. And they have been accompanied by Brandy Rose as the, the nightmare. Um, the, as the, the Natural Nightmares, I meant to say. I almost said the, the Nightmare Collective. No, we don't want that back. We don't want we don't want anything, anything to do that anymore. Uh, but anyways, it was the, the, um, the Natural Nightmares versus John Cruz and Matt Sells. Who are they? No idea. And based on the, thing, on the names here, the Natural uh, Nightmares wins. But here's the thing. Uh, this, was, this was a decent match. I, I, I thought this match, oh, you know, for what it was, it was, a little, it was decent. So, nothing else to see about that. SCU, Christopher Daniels and... Frankie Kazarian versus Sean Spears, and uh, I guess he was supposed to be one of the these these uh guys that wanted um to team up with Sean Spears or potential uh, um home video packages to deliver to Sean Spears of of, the, of finding a partner, you know, for, or you know, to find the perfect partner for Sean Spears basically, and it was Anthony. I mean, I'm sorry, it was Robert Anthony. I meant to say. Now, as usual, you know, Telly Adventures is that is that ringside for for them, especially for best basically with Tensor Strong Spears. Match itself, um, it was decent, and I liked the Robert Anthony, um, the way he wrestled, uh, and the way he presented himself. But then it mattered because uh he made one more mistake, and because of that Telly Telly Blanchard told Strong Spears to to leave him, and basically this is on a thing with Tensor Strong Spears, but we're all uh, it's not not working out, but tends to. Uh, miscommunications for one another. They just, you know, then John Spears just give up on, you know, on his partners from there. And Tully Blanchard is basically, um, is the, is the, is the, um, the mastermind behind that as well. So, in the end, obviously, SCU won. They won with the, the best Melser ever. After the match, John Spears got in the ring. He starts beating up on Robert Anthony. And that was basically it. We get Kip's excuse me. We get Kip Sabian, who is super bad, being accompanied by his girlfriend Penelope Four, who is the bad girl. As Kip Sabian goes up against someone named Shug D. Wasn't that long the match, um, but Kip Sabian wins. Okay. Uh. All right, we have Colt Cabana, the guy who kisses dicks, and the guy who kissed a man known as uh, Peter Avalon, the librarian. Yes, I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna I'll live that down now, and I will never forget that now. Um, you know, the whole kissing the dick thing. Um, 
you know, we were just to uh, enjoy Ryan. That whole thing, um, I'm glad, I'm glad, I'll say, I'll say I'm, I'm, I'm saying this every time, every time I talk about this. i never seen it, don't care to see it, don't want to see it, no need to see it. It's not my cup of tea, it's just the way it is. I don't get the appeal of Joy Ryan at all with the Burlington's health situation. I don't get the appeal of why someone would even want to do something to do with um with, with his old dick. But Coco Banner went up against uh Brandon Cutler. Match wasn't that long. Take a guess who won. The one who loves, who loves kissing dicks. Moving on. To the main event. It was the bad boy, Joey Janela, and the concrete rose, Sunny Kiss. They're a tag team. Basically, it's like the whole New Jersey connection. I think that's what it was saying. Um, I could be wrong, but don't quote me on that. But they go up against someone named, or other teams, I meant to say, named Corey Holly, I um, mean, Corey Hollis, and Mike Reed. Who are, who are they? No clue. So take a guess who won this match. The ones that are known. Joey Janela and Sunny Kiss. Match itself, it was decent. And there you go. That was basically the show. Six matches. Wow. Let me just double check this. Yeah, six matches. That's the first. Obviously, it's because of the whole coronavirus situation, so. But my overall strength for the show, I'm going to give it a 5.5 out of 10. It could have been better. But we'll see next time if it does become even more better. It depends. Just as just, just long as you don't have a Coco Banner on there, we're good. But with that being said, they go for watching for It's a Natural Born Thriller, saying peace on the streets. But this was your all the wrestling review. We're just giving you... AW, I'm mean, AW Dark Results, I'm going to say, from uh, March 24th, 2020. Until next time, we're going to this only wrestling review, folks. You all stay well, stay safe, stay protected. We're going to this whole coronavirus situation. Stay well. I think I already said that. I'm going to say stay in peace. <laughs> um, and you all take care. I'm out. Ta ta for now.